better Kansas City. Now coffee meets a classic cocktail and a latte gets a lot more fun. We have Melissa Crawford. She's the bar manager at Port Fonda joining us now to show us how to make a coffee Manhattan and an iced You'll have to pronounce that word for me. <laughs> what is that one? Carajillo. Carajillo latte. <laughs> so, okay, let's take a step back. First off, yeah. when I think of coffee drinks, I automatically think of like an Irish coffee, put a little whiskey, a little bit of uh, Irish cream with your coffee, and, and that's my go-to coffee drink. But you are trying tequila. Yes, okay. and I feel like a lot of people are scared of that, and I'm not sure why. Both coffee and tequila take a ton of notes from the terroir and the environment mm -hmm. in which they're grown. And tequila has an inherent sweetness from the agave that pairs so, so, so well with the bitter, strong strikingness of coffee. I can tell you why I am scared of tequila, but that involves college and a lot of nights in Aggieville. <laughs> but, uh, and uh, probably those stories aren't safe with my boss watching, uh, too. But, okay, so why does, why does the coffee, as you said, why the coffee goes well because of the agave, the sweetness, and yeah, the different textures in the drink. But um, talk a little bit more about this tequila coffee infusion that you guys have created at yeah, Port Fonda because it's similar to some other ones that we've seen around yeah, in the market. Yeah, if you've had like Patron Cafe, yeah. it's very similar to that and it's also wildly easy to make at home. Really? Um, at Port Fonda, we're taking our Caldi's coffee blend, but you can use it your favorite bean of coffee. I haven't experimented with others, so mm -hmm. I'd be curious to see viewer uh, submissions. <laughs> as well as some sugar, some water, and then some cinnamon. And I let those things sit and infuse for about okay. five days. And then you're gonna strain that out and you're gonna get this spirit that is this beautiful, this color of coffee, yeah. but it's got all the punch of tequila. Okay. So it's a great Friday drink and it's very versatile. So we've done two drinks with it. Um, one is a take on a latte because that's my favorite way to have my coffee. Of course. Um, and this guy is gonna have some coconut in it mm -hmm. as well as either a dairy or a non-dairy alternative. Either one works. Um, and so that's kind of how we built that drink. And that's, and that's using the tequila coffee? Exactly. You'll do about an ounce and a half of this. Okay. You'll do some dairy alternative. And then you'll add that coconut just for some flavor. And this is a fun drink that we like to push at brunch. Yeah. So it seems like it's pretty easy to make this. It's just kind of time consuming because you just have to mix the ingredients, but literally let it sit for five patience. days. Be patient. <laughs> so yeah, that's the hardest part about it, I'm sure, right? Yes, absolutely. It's also a good Saturday night cocktail. If you like a good stiff drink, like maybe a Manhattan <laughs> or an yeah. Old Fashioned, um, what we've done is we've made in a, a syrup to pair with this with orange and guajillo because orange and coffee, perfect, perfect match together. So really? we've done those two things together along with our coffee and then also some red vermouth and some bitters. And we've just twisted that up with an orange twist and it's just got a really nice balance of mm -hmm. sweet and bitter and bite. Wow, okay. Well, which one? So, are we making the latte here We're first? We're making the okay. latte here first. Let's, let's so, I made a, an, an almond milk one for our dairy free friends, but mm -hmm. we'll do just a regular milk guy. I've got that coconut in there. Shake it up, get it nice and frothy. And we like to garnish with either a cinnamon stick or some cinnamon yeah. powder. Now, when you're talking about your coconut, is that coconut milk or is that just coconut Coconut is going to be a puree. So ours oh, okay. is real coconut. It's a cream of coconut puree. Oh. Coconut milk works as well. You okay. may have to do a little more shaking on that, but it works perfectly. Oh, just different textures will Absolutely. blend differently? Yeah, okay. of course. Then just over ice? Exactly. Over ice, you also don't have to do it over ice if you don't want to. If you want to steam that guy, that tequila will hold as well, but it makes oh. a nice froth over ice. Yeah. We'll just throw a cinnamon stick in there. There's your garnish, and we are ready to go. Beautiful. And then, okay, now our, our cocktail here for the, so like you said, the substitute for the Manhattan. Yeah, absolutely. So this one, Manhattan, traditionally, we're going to do this vermouth. We're just going to do 0.25 ounces of it. Mm -hmm. We're going to make this drink a little stiffer. We're going to go two ounces of that coffee tequila in there right. because it can get really sweet with these Aztec chocolate bitters that we have and with oh, that cool. orange guajillo syrup. So we'll do a dash of these guys. Very sweet, so you don't really want to do too much. Just a dash. Unless you like more than that. <laughs> and then, this is our orange guajillo syrup right here that we've made in-house. It's a dried chili pepper along with some orange peel and some orange zest. Wow. And that just kind of sits for three to five days as well. Okay. We'll throw two ounces of our tequila in there. We'll get this guy stirred up and ready Goodness to go. Goodness gracious. Putting a lot of... A lot of uh, umph in that drink. A lot there. of umph. Like you said, we're not playing around and it's here. Shockingly smooth. You'd be surprised. Yeah. The orange and the coffee and the tequila together bring well, yeah, a really some, nice balance. Yeah, well, some of that the sweeter stuff probably balances it out there pretty exactly. good. Exactly. Yeah. So one thing I wanted to know, normally when you come on the show, you talk a lot about mezcal. I do. Is there any kind of mezcal tricks for these drinks that you have? Or can we substitute mezcal for the tequila? Absolutely or? you can. You can. It's going to add a little smoke to your uh, coffee Manhattan. Mm -hmm. um, I wouldn't do it on the latte just because that's an interesting combination. But yeah, a little smoky latte. Absolutely. <laughs> if you're a mezcal fan, I've got a mezcal dinner coming up. And you okay. can come to that. It's going to be March 12th. Okay. And I've only got about nine seats left, so please call Port Fonda if you're interested in trying some awesome mezcal and our delicious food paired together. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for being here today. We appreciate the drinks. We have them here. We're gonna here. Let's just have our little cheers there you here. Go. <laughs> All right. Cheers for coffee Friday. drinks and to Friday and to March first. It's the first of the month. Belinda, over to you.